Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolves Challenge. A challenge I created in The Sims 4. The rules will be in the description below as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. Now this series does include death rolls like the Ultimate Decades Challenge and the History Challenge. So if you don't like doing death rolls for Sims including babies, pregnancies, infants and children and then please don't watch this episode as this might be triggering so we're actually done with winter and this is the second wild fang household and we actually lost this family last time we visited this lot so this is a new family yvonne moss is the matriarch and she's already learned transformation mastery because i was working on some things and she happened to rampage and then we have the father rowan moss and so rowan has not learned transformation mastery because he's not rampaging yet but for some reason when i logged in yvonne was already transformed and I think it's because she was on another lot when we were playing with another family. So she's already done that. And she's just reading her werewolf books. We've already found the caves, but I have expanded the CC that I am using. And we now have a dinner table instead of that picnic table that had the logs. I think that looked a little bit too out of character and then we also have a kitchen setup this is a functional kitchen setup now this refrigerator looks like a cooling rack but it has the functionality of a refrigerator and then we have a stove a counter and a grill that actually works with the simple living lot trait so this is the mushroom steak that we can make because we actually do have mushrooms and we will be able to make all these other things provided that we get the ingredients for them and then also we have my little radio over here that we had last time so that's some of the new cc and i have another surprise in that i have completely changed this world and i didn't know this existed before but there is a mod out there or at least some files out there that you can download and put into your game that will erase all of the items in the world or at least most of them that look like they're too out of character for this time period now you can't really tell very well because it is winter and well it's the end of winter and the beginning of spring and the snow has not melted yet hopefully it will melt soon but it's still cold so i'm not sure how long the snow will be on the ground i have started to set up some of the things for the different areas that i will need so for example the portal potties or the portal potties over here that had been removed and i had to put them back so they are in there you just have to look underneath the rocks i hid them with these rocks using tool mod so it looks like the people are coming in and out of a cave versus the portal potties but they are in there and then i have this huge rock covering the trench that was the sewer trench over here and i do have the little uh, sewer grate poking out but that's because the rock I used to cover this uh, was making it inaccessible so I'm going to have to redo that later I think I might wait until the spring when I can actually see things and I have this uh, garden path rock over the stairs so the stairs are there but they can walk through this garden path rock so they will be coming up out of the cavity like they're coming up out of a cave or something i just need a big rock to cover the whole thing that doesn't block them from getting in there and then this will look like they're coming up out of a cave instead of coming up a stairwell out of the sewers and then i haven't bothered to block off the other one which for some reason i don't know why the portal potties were the only thing removed but i guess the other ones kind of look like they could be from the time period ah uh, here it is the bunker so this was not removed and so what i might do is get some rocks to cover this so that it doesn't look like an open doorway 
Well, it looks like Rowan is starting to read the books as well. I had scheduled him to do that, and he needs to have some fun. And then Yvonne is almost done with hers. She needs to finish two more books. Why two more books? You didn't finish the second one. Well, that's fine. Sometimes they don't finish them, and I don't know why. Oh, she's eating for two. So yes, Yvonne is pregnant. And I think what we might do with this family is focus less on completing the challenges and kind of just hang out with them for a week because the other wild thing family is the one that actually has the alpha of the wild thing pack. And I don't really want to pass it back and forth between families. So this family is kind of like a spare since they're not the alpha and they can't really do any of the completions until they get someone to be the alpha. Okay, they're going to be wholesome. So Yvonne and Rowan have a better start to their relationship than the last pair of werewolves. Oh no, Rowan is going to be gloomy. He's not sad. Um, he has no sad moodlets at all. He's energized and a little bit angry, but not sad. Oh, well, I have to say yes. And he has absolutely zero sad moodlets. I don't get that. Why did he become gloomy? Maybe because he was destroying the dollhouse? Yeah, I know your rage is high, but there's nothing you can do about it for right now, except for be angry. Okay, Rowan is transforming. And, of course, he immediately goes and tears up the bathtub, which means he won't get transformation mastery. Fine. Okay, today is the full moon, so we should be able to complete the werewolf initiate, at least. And then we'll start on getting some more werewolf abilities in order to take over the wild things pack from the other house. Now, I probably won't do that anytime soon. Because I think maybe this household will be where I try to bring up the mates for the other household. So what we'll try to do is in this household, raise as many kids as possible. And if they're somewhere in the range of being either a teenager or a young adult, when someone from the other family becomes a young adult, then we'll try to mate them with this family first. And then if... Failing that, we'll have to make one in Kaz. Because the problem is they need to be faded mates and you can't really control that. It's more of a random chance. Oh, Yvonne is going to be active. That's good. She's also a slob, which is annoying, but active is a good trait. Oh, I will warn you that any CC that you get off of that list, be careful of the beds. There are a couple of beds and showers almost always do this where if you are in build by and you place them, they immediately disappear. Whenever that happens, undo it and make sure that you've saved your game before that and just quit because basically it kind of messes up your save. So this bed does work. But I had another bed where I couldn't place it and then I couldn't save after that and I couldn't get the game to progress. So I had to basically just quit and lose that particular progress. But there wasn't very much progress on it since I was just in build mode. Uh, but yeah, so be careful about that. It is one bad thing about the CC is sometimes it does mess up your game. Oh, we're getting an earthquake. All right, well, time to break out the death rolls. Oh, no, it's a volcanic bomb. I heard it. All right, so do we have any fires? And what is that? Oh, the yarn balls. The cats like to knock them off, and I don't see how they get them off. They're on this half wall up here. That's too high for them to knock it off. All right, whatever. Okay, and here we go. Oh, everyone survived. Now it is spring. So even with a 24, the pregnancy survives. And that's because in spring, we give a survival bonus to basically everyone. I think you have to get like less than a 10 for the pregnancy or maybe is it 
less than it's definitely less than 20. And then for the young adults, it's somewhere around three to five in order to not survive. So that's good. Oh no, we're having another earthquake. It's not making any sound for some reason. Well, that was quick. We didn't have that many for the winter family. That's actually a good thing. Well, here we go again. We have death rolls. And everyone survived. See what I mean about spring? Uh, Rowan got an 18. Pretty sure in other seasons he might have died from that. Yeah, if it was fall or winter, he would have died. And yeah, uh, the pregnancy would have died even with the 68 in winter. So that's how that works. Oh, Rowan has completed the, his werewolf aspiration. That's right, because they lived through the full moon. So we're going to do the wild fading renegade aspiration with this family. And then, of course, Yvonne did the same. Now, I will say this table CC is the only one that I've ever seen that's actual stone. The other ones I've seen have been made of wood or logs and a combination of that and stone, maybe instead of all 100% stone. And this table, unfortunately, is not the best. The creator that did this CC hasn't made any updates to any of his stuff in a really long time. So unfortunately, a lot of it doesn't work. And some of it may even cause the game to glitch. See how this plate is on there? I can't pick it up. And even if I could click on it and hit clean up, they won't clean it up. So... I'd like to fix a lot of this CC, but it's just so much work to do all of that. Well, we did find Xavier. We should try to make friends with them so that we could be friends of the werewolf pack. Oh no, Cassidy is the leader, not Xavier. I completely forgot. Okay, so Yvonne is now a friend of the Wild Fangs, and we'll just try to join the pack. We can discuss Lunar Empathy, we can give her a gift, but I think that's all that we can do. Oh, we can give her some excellent quality food. No, don't flirt with her, don't you dare. She's married and so are you. Oh no, she went away before I could ask her to join. Great, and I just needed to ask her to join and that was it. I had done all of the trials, but of course she's pregnant and needed to pee just like I did. Let's try to find some sims we can turn into a werewolf. Oh no, there she is. I found her. Now, oh, she peed. <laughs> she was going to a bush? Come on. You don't go to a bush. You pee on the ground. Oh, Yvonne has gone into labor. So we're going to have some more babies. And she's also a member of the Wild Fangs. Oh, that's not good. She almost died of embarrassment. I think Cassidy's embarrassed. And whenever you see a Sim do that, it's because they almost died from embarrassment. And uh, she didn't because, of course, she's pregnant. And it's a girl. So which name should we use for the girl? Let's try Ruby. And we have a boy. So for the boy's name, we'll use stone. Okay, so Rowan is going to be neat. That's good. Oh, good. Yvonne is going to swap out slob for neat. That's wonderful because not only is neat a good trait and slob a bad trait, but also she won't leave piles of clothes everywhere. Okay, so Yvonne and Rowan will be steamy now. Well, Rowan is hysterical, but that doesn't matter because he's actually a cringe sim. So cringe sims cannot die from hysteria. That is going to be a really big benefit. Okay, Rowan has joined the Wild Fangs, so he's completed that portion of his aspiration. Yvonne is eating for two, but she's also going to get started on her werewolf aspiration. So she's going to turn this guy into a werewolf. Oh, they're aging up. 
Okay, well, Stone is calm and Ruby is sunny. I kind of forgot about their birthdays. Whoops. And it looks like Ruby is a dormant wolf and Stone is neither. Oh no, we have an earthquake with the infants. Okay, well. And another one! Is that two in a row? I'm just going to count that as one. Okay, so here we go for the rolls for the disaster. And we lost Ruby. Uh, yeah, she got a 10. That's rough. And Yvonne got a 5, but still survived because it's spring. And she also has a lot of bonuses right now. So that saved her. So we only lost one of the infants, but that was the one that was a dormant wolf. Well, I did discover what was stopping me from doing tummy time inside the cave. It appears if you have an onsen on the lot, especially in the basement, that it thinks that you're underwater. And so you can't do the tummy time when you're underwater. But a lot of other things you can do, which you can't do when you're in water. So I don't understand why that's not working. And Stone has lifted his head. And he needs to go to sleep again already? Okay. Just go to sleep right there. Well, Rowan is just getting a midnight snack and then he's about to go to bed. And we finished with this family having one child. So we have an infant named Stone and everybody else survived. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Thank you.